Hey guys, welcome to Joy of the Trade. Today, I am going to talk to you about everyone's favorite uh, cocktail party or virtual cocktail party conversations or text thread nonsense that I get bombarded with all day. And that is the Reddit forum. And what I really want to focus specifically on with Wall Street Bets is the new silver play. Let's talk silver today. Silver is the dead giveaway that these are pros behind the Wizard of Oz curtain of Wall Street Bets and Reddit. And I'm going to show you why. And I've been having this back and forth debate with a lot of people that want to have this. They want to hold on to this fairy tale that the little guy, David and Goliath, and David is sitting there at his house, and he figured out how to beat the big bad hedge funds in Wall Street. And he did this all on his own while working IT for some crappy company in the middle of wherever. That's all BS. These guys are pros, pros. And we saw with GME, they knew, they knew how to create, how to manufacture a short squeeze uh, with the Delta hedgers by creating a gamma squeeze, which isn't something that people sit around in their pajamas knowing. Those are professional dealers, those are professional operators that know how to do that. That's number one. So we saw that with them. Number two, it's even more nefarious from that perspective in the sense that these guys knew not only that it was 140% short of the float, I see that on Bloomberg, everyone sees those sort of things, that it was extremely concentrated bets. They knew how the market was positioned from an independent player standpoint, which means they were talking to people on the inside. They had contacts at the big banks that are in stock loan, that are on those desks. And I understand that you can't just find that information. They knew, they knew, they knew. Okay, so let's fast forward to now, to the, today. Silver is the new rage. Silver, oh my gosh, I've had, you know, I've had house husbands at home texting me, oh, silver, let's get into SLV. And I'm like, first of all, guy, silver is not a stock, okay? Silver is a commodity. It's a $1.6 trillion market. It trades physical. It trades with futures. And then it trades with the SLV ETF. So this isn't your short squeeze, ETF, garden variety, same thing as GameStop. This is a different beast. And so I did a little bit of uncovering this morning to look at silver and see what was going on underneath the hood. And I'm going to share my screen right now and show you what I'm looking at which further tells me this was an inside job. So let's look, let's look here at the, the, this is what you're looking at here is the silver active contract. Okay. And so we've had this pop, it came last night, right? So I'm supposed to believe that, you know, mom and pop sitting in bed, <laughs> sitting in their basement, just figured out how to day trade from social media on their iPhone, that they're suddenly trading futures account with margin on Sunday night, bidding up silver 10%. I don't believe it. But anyways, what we've seen is this huge pop in volume and open interest in silver. So let's look underneath the hood at this. Let's look at underneath the hood at sorry, at the X SLV. So the SLV also had that huge boost like the open interest we saw in the futures. And that started, that started last week, right? You see this big pop, people are buying it, but it also, it also shows you that look how much size is ready to trade this in retail land. And so people are, people are, you know, there are people hedging between the ETF and the physical and the future. Look at this thing, trading 129 million shares today. 129 million shares today. Unbelievable volume. The average volume on this thing is what? What's that been? 30 million, it's trading quadruple. It's trading quadruple. Look at this move. This is not a normal move. And people were front running. People were loading up on this thing to, to give it to the Reddit bag. And so look, we can see if we look at the ETF, look at this thing. This thing is free money right now for people that can, that can lock in premiums. This thing is trading at a 1% premium over, over, over its holdings. So the ETF, which is donkey land, which is where all the Muppets are gonna get massacred in, are paying extra. They like paying extra anyways because they don't like paying commissions, but they don't mind paying more for the stock. So here's where they're getting killed. Look at this. Look at the shares outstanding of the SLV. Look at this. This is the amount of ETF that they've created in the SLV. 
since, since this thing started. Look at this thing. It's doubled since last year. So people have, been, people have been coordinating these things for a long time. And it's going to go on and on and on and on and on. But don't think that this is some little organic David versus Goliath story. These are shrewd, slick operators that know how to use social media. They, they have good trades that they're doing. I'm not going to disrespect how they're, how they're positioning to their trades. I do suspect that there's going to be a fallout from this from a regulatory standpoint, but I digress. That'll be a different thing. If you like this video, if you like what I had to say, check out joyofthetrade.com. I'm Jeff Zanineri, and I'll talk to you soon. LFG.